So um, if you guys kind of look at this, basically what we have is we have uh, two equations, but we have these two equations in form of t, which we call our parameter. So to what we're going to do is we want to write this as one equation. Now, it doesn't have to be solved for y, but typically, usually, that is how we like to have it, is usually solve for y. So my advice to you would be to always try to solve for t on the x equation so we could plug it in. Because we like, sol we like when y is solved, right? That's We're used to it from our calculator. Usually, we can understand equations when y is isolated. However, I'm just going to let you know, it doesn't have to be that way. You don't have to solve for y. All right? You don't have to have y isolated at the end. Because think about like point slope form and so forth. It's not always y by, or standard form of an equation, so forth. Anyways, what you're going to do, here's kind of your step-by-step -step process. To eliminate the parameter, you're going to solve for t, preferably with the x equation. Not always, but preferably. So subtract 1. So we could say t is equivalent to x minus 1 minus divided by negative 2. Does everybody follow what I did? No? Yep. Jeremy, got it? Caitlin, got it? Then all we're simply going to do is plug this into the other equation. y equals 2 minus x minus 1 divided by 2. It is. Which now we can kind of rewrite this. So instead of dividing by 2, I can say I'm going to rewrite that as, as 1 half. Instead of minusing a negative or minus a negative, I'm just going to, a negative times a negative, I'm just going to turn that to a positive. And I'll just show you my math work. Or two or one point five, right? Which somebody said, well, hey, was that the line or something? Does that, does that sound about right? Yes? And then you said it has a positive slope. Is one half a positive slope? Right. So does that look like kind of what you guys graphed in there? Can we at least justify that? Yeah, I think I did my math right, correct? Because if you might have done something wrong, you would have a different y intercept that wouldn't look right, or you'd have a slope that didn't look right. So we can justify, Jason, that I did all my math 